Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 7.39 from Sadiku book. So the question is calculate the capacitor voltage for T is less than zero and T is greater than zero for each of the circuit in figure 7.106. Okay, let's start from the problem A first. Okay, we are asked for T is less than zero. And then for t greater than zero. But first, let's do t less than zero first. Okay. So now we will have this 20 volt voltage. Okay. And then we will have that 4 ohm resistor. And then the capacitor will be in open circuit, assuming that the, cap the resistor is already closed for a long time. So we replace our capacitor with an open circuit and this is the V here. So we'll have the V is here and then we will have one ohm resistor there. Okay, so we will have one ohm resistor here okay so now we can get the capacitor voltage when t is less than zero so we will have p is equal to we can just use ohm's law here or i think the voltage divider so p is one i think i will i will use red here p is equal to one divided by 1 plus 4 multiplied by 20. Okay, so we will have 1 over 5 multiplied by 20. Therefore, V is equal to 4 volt. <coughs> okay, remember this, this is T is less than 0. And that means that V 0 minus is equal to 4 volt also. However, because the voltage in a capacitor cannot change instantaneously, we can get the V0 plus is also equal to 4 volt. Okay, or because the limit is the same from the left and from the right, I just write it V0 is equal to 4 volt. Okay, and remember, if we get the capacitor formula here, we can we already get this part from here. Okay, now let's check the situation when t is greater than zero. Okay, when t is greater than zero, what happens here? The switch is open. Okay, the switch is open, and let's redraw the circuit. So I will have that plus 20 volt and then that is 4 ohm and then we will have a capacitor here that is T is equal to 4 and the value is 2 farad. Okay, so the voltage that we are looking for is this one. However, from here, the only thing that we can get is the time constant. Okay, so the time constant is tau. Time constant is tau. So we will have R multiplied by C. The R is 4 ohm, so we'll have 4. And then the C is 2 farad, so we'll have 2. Therefore, tau is equal to 8 seconds, okay? So, V0 is equal to 4. And then, tau is equal to 8, okay? So, we get this part from here, the tau. And the only thing that left is the V infinity, okay? V infinity and we need to find out V infinity, right? 
okay maybe i just clean this p part first i need some space okay i will get when t is equal to infinity we can draw the circuit like this this is open circuit and this switch is also open so we will have this one is 20 volt and then we will have an open ended circuit like this so we will have for ohm and then this is the v so from here we can get the v infinity because there will be no current that pass through this resistor it will be the same as this voltage source so i will have 20 volt okay so v infinity is 20 volt so we get all that we need from here so we can just plug in the values to this formula here so i will have vt is equal to v infinity which is 20 and then plus v0 v0 is 4 and then minus v infinity will be minus 20 yeah 20 20 volt and then multiplied by e to the minus t over a okay and so we will have vt is equal to 20 plus oh no not plus minus minus 16 e to the minus 1 over 8 i think i will just write it 1.125 t and the unit here will be volt and this is for problem a okay and i think we should move on to problem b okay let's clean up the board first okay let's continue with problem b so yet again we need to redraw the circuit at t is less than zero t is greater than zero and t is equal to infinity so let's start from here when t is less than zero let's draw the circuit first so we will have plus 12 volt here and then we will have 3 ohm there okay and then the capacitor is in open circuit state because it has been open for a long time and then the switch is open yeah the switch is open right because at t is equal to zero it becomes closed so the sir the switch is open and then we will have this for ohm okay and then we will have that we will have that two ampere okay two ampere current source okay that is good okay let's do let's do what's what kind of things that we get from here so we are asked to find out the voltage here right okay if we let this ground this node here as our ground we know the voltage here maybe let's name this as vr we know from the ohm's law that vr is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 so vr here will be 8 volt okay and so this node here is 8 volt and this node here because there is no current that goes through this branch it is will be the same as the voltage source so this node here has the voltage of 12 okay therefore we can get that v is the difference between this node and this node so i will have 12 minus 8 that will be v is equal to 4 or because this is t is less than 0 we will have v 0 minus and that also equal to v0 plus 
and so that will equal to 4. Therefore, our V0 will be 4. Okay, the first part done, and we got this V0 here. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to find the tau here. And to do that, we need to draw the circuit when t is greater than 0. Okay, let's exactly do that. So we will have 12 volt here. So I have 12 volt. And then we also have that 2 farad resistor. And the switch is closed here. So all the current will pass through here and all of the circuit is meaningless so we will have this one and then we will have the resistor from here okay the resistor value is 3 ohm and we can calculate the tau from here tau is rc so we will have 3 ohm times 2 so we'll have tau is equal to 6 seconds Okay, so we get this tau value here. So V0 is 4 and then tau is 6. So the last thing that we need to do is to find out T infinity. Okay, so now let's do exactly that. When T is equal to infinity, our circuit becomes like this. So we will have plus minus and then 12 volt and then we will have 3 ohm here and so the capacitor that will already be discharged so this is the one here and here we will have because there is no current that pass through it it will be the same as this voltage source so we will have V infinity is equal to 12 right and we just need to plug that into this formula here. So our Vt is equal to V infinity, that will be 12. And then plus V0 minus V infinity, V0 is 4. And then minus 12. And then e to the minus t over 6. Minus t over 6 and so we will have Vt is equal to 12 minus 8 e to the minus t over 6 and the unit here will be volt and this is the final answer for this problem i think that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye